Hey, welcome to our class of Tuesday Night Beer School with me, Chad, of Chad's Beer Reviews. And join us again, my student slash girlfriend, Christina. How you doing? Good, how are you? Hey, she remembered to, to lean into the <laughs> mic this time. So you might remember a month or two ago, we did American Blonde Ale. Yes. And tonight we're doing another kind of Blonde Ale, but this is from their side of the pond. Belgian Blonde Ale. Overall impression, a golden, moderately strong Belgian Ale with a pleasantly subtle citrusy spicy yeast complexity smooth malt palette and a dry soft finish so let's go down to the comments on that most co most commercial examples are in the 6.5 to 7 percent abv range so pretty strong not super strong often has an almost lager like character which gives it a cleaner profile in comparison to many other belgian styles fun is speaking yeah okay whatever history developed to further appeal to pills drinkers all right carrots and ingredients belgian pills malt Aromatic malts, sugar, or adju other adjuncts. Belgian Abbey type yeast strains, continental hops. Spices are not traditionally used. If present, it should be a background character only. Style comparison, similar strength and balances of Belgian double. I don't know why they can compare it to that. But golden color and without the darker malt flavors. See, it's much closer to a Belgian strong golden ale or a triple. Although a bit maltier, not as bitter, and lower in alcohol. So yeah, uh, 15 to 30 IBUs, so not super bitter. Four to six SRM, pretty light color. And six to 7.5 ABV, um, strong, but not super strong. We are using one of these examples, although we, we've got four beers tonight. We're doing a four-way showdown. So as is one of the classic examples, they've been making it for years, Lefe. And another Belgian is from Duval, 6.66 Blonde Ale, because it's 6.66 ABV. And then we got two American contenders, which we I reviewed this about a month or two ago. Ama Gang's Noma Gang, which actually is a collab with a Belgian brewery. So it's then we have an even more remote beer, 1000 Tiny Michael Jackson's Break Dancing Your Mouth. Michael Jackson, the beer writer, not the musician um this is from uh buried acorn brewing i know they're in upstate new york somewhere this is 6.4 bv all right so we took a few minutes to smell all these off camera so that we already know what we're gonna say all right so first beer is the classic lefe blonde to me it's um just like classic belgian character very perfumey uh, that's it I mean, it's all yeast esters but it's like a little bit of like a, a spicy character to it as mm -hmm. well. So I, I really like that one. Like a clove or something. Yeah. Alright, so next up is the Noma Gang. And the first thing I notice on this one is because by the way, this is 9.5 ABV and the other three beers are all 6.6. .6, or well the thousand time Michael Jackson's is 6.4, so you know, quite a big difference between 6.4 and 9.5. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, I definitely get alcohol in this one, but it has like a honey kind of character, but it also has the classic Belgian perfume and peppery yep. notes. It's in there as well. All right. So next up is the Duval 6.66. Mandarin you... oranges. Yeah. To me, this, it's weird because to me, it almost has like an American hop character to it which i they may be using american hop characters um but yeah it, it doesn't have qu it's not quite as perfumey as the other two no it's more fruity and then the last one is the thousand michael jackson's and this one is even more orange than duval this is like a juice yeah uh, well i mean i wouldn't go that far but it, it does have like the i mean those the, the uh, yeast esters and perfumes are still in there this one is, yeah, like I would orange, say it is It is very orangey. Orange blossom. Almost yeah, almost like floral. tangerine. Yeah, like if the Duval is mandarin, then the, then the thousand is like tangerine. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's check the specs for aroma. Light to moderate, grainy sweet, slightly toasty, or crackery malt. I would say grainy sweet. I don't get toast or cracker on either of these, any of these. Subtle to moderate yeast profile featuring fruity citrusy esters like oranges or lemons and background spicy peppery phenols. Yeah, I would say that applies for all of these yep, beers. Yep, they all hit it. Light earthy or spicy hop notes optional. Yeah, I did get a little in some of these. Yep. Light perfumey alcohol and suggestions of a light malty sweetness can give a slight honey 
or sugar like character. That's what I said about the the Noma gang. Does have a slight honey character. Yes. Subtle yet complex. I agree with that. Man. They all four hippies. I know. All right, so I got our spreadsheet open. So for Lefe, for Aroma, to me it was it's pretty much perfect. Like I almost never give a twelve right off right out of the gate, but mm-hmm. I'll give an eleven. What do you think? A twelve. Okay. <laughs> Noma gang. Um yeah, really, really good. Um a little boozy. So I'm gonna go mm-hmm. uh, penalize it a point and give it a ten. What do you think? It has that honey, I'll give it a twelve. Okay. The Duval, pretty much on point as all the other ones, but uh, yeah. it's a little, to me, it's a little weak sauce compared to the others, but I'm going to give that a 10. I'll give that 11. 11. Mm-hmm. And then the Thousand Tiny Michael Jackson's, mm. very orangey. Mm-hmm. Seems a little Americanized to me. I'm going to go 10 on that one as well. I'll do a 12 on that one. Really? Yep. Wow. All right, so moving on to appearance. I guess we can just do this on camera. I mean, they all look pretty much the same. Yes. Um, I call that dark gold. I mean, it may look a little orange on camera. I mean, it's like a honey amber. Very clear. I think they're all pretty clear. Just, well, all right. Well, the Noma Gang has a little bit of haze to it. You can you can definitely see that. Duval. A little lighter. Yeah, it's a slightly lighter. Yeah. This is, this is a definite gold, not amber. Mm-hmm. It has a slight cloudiness to it. And then the Michael Jackson also has a little haze to it. And it's, you know, it's kind of more of an orange, like a pale orange. Yes. But, um, yeah. All good looking beers all had big foams when we poured them. So let's check the specs on appearance. Deep yellow to deep gold color. All right, check for all four. Generally very clear. See, it says generally, which means it doesn't absolutely have to be. So large, dense, and creamy white to off-white head. Good head retention with Belgian lace. Yeah. Um, I, I would be fine giving all four beers a three on this. What do you think? I wouldn't penalize any of them. They pretty much, they all match it. So three as well. Three for everything? Yes. Okay. All right, so we are ready to start talking about the flavor on these beers. We'll start with the Lefe. Mm -hmm. I just get classic Belgian yeast character. Quite perfumey. A little peppery, a little bit of citrusy. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, it's really flavorful. Nice. uh, I wouldn't, none of these beers are sweet, but this one has like kind of like a real like grain flavor to it. Yeah, I get perfume. Mmm. I like that one. All right, moving on to the Noma Gang. Well, we both said off camera, it's because the spear is so strong. The mm-hmm. first thing you notice is that booze on there. But, you know, I think we both described it as having like a honey aroma. And it does have like kind of like a bit of a honey flavor. Mm-hmm. Not it, Oddly enough, you know, this one's stronger than the Lefe. Mm-hmm. It's not as like peppery and perfumey as that one. Right. Um... But yeah, it's a, it's a nice uh, nice character to it. Moving on to the Duval. This one's more bitter so far. A little bitter, yeah. Pretty high in the pepper per, uh, on the peppery. Mm-hmm. Almost no citrus or no perfume on that one though. It smells like oranges, but don't yeah. put orange on the flavor. Yeah, it was weird. Yeah. All right, and then last but not least, the Michael Jackson. Mm. Very hoppy, oh, very American hoppy. Bitter. Yeah, it's it, yeah. It's not that it's peppery like the way the Noma Gang and Lefe is. It's just hot bitterness. Mm-hmm. It does have like I will say it does have like a citrus flavor to it. To me, it's almost it's almost like an American. They could probably call this a Belgian IPA, maybe. Yeah. But, I mean, they're calling it a Belgian blonde, so that's what we're scoring, Not I guess. Not even close to the other three, though. Yeah. It's lacking the the, the yeast character. Well, I mean, it's, in the, it's there, but it's just way lower. All right, so let's see what the specs say. Flavor, similar to the aroma, with a light to moderate, grainy sweet malt flavor being perceived first. I agree. Faint, lightly caramelized sugar or honey-like sweetness on the palate. Okay. Mm-hmm. Medium bitterness, 
Some of these have high. <laughs> With the malt slightly more prominent in the balance. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Except for the last one. Right. Moderate to low yeast profile with orange or lemon esters and slight spicy peppery phenols. Yeah. I, just, I mean, it does say low, moderate to low, but and it's funny because I think the lefe is rather high, mm -hmm. or at least moderately high. Yeah. No McGangs, you know, I would say moderate. Yeah, all right. So, can have a light perfumey character. Yep, definitely the lefe does. Light hot flavor can be spicy or earthy complementing yeast. Well, in Michael Jackson, it was citrusy not spicy or earthy yeah the other three the hops are tame but i mean it definitely fits that criteria spicy earthy uh finishes medium dry to dry yeah i would say all four finish dry uh smooth yeah and soft the light alcohol and malt in the aftertaste yeah all right so i mean for the most part these all score pretty well in my opinion uh, let me get my spreadsheet back up here all right, so for flavor for the Lefe, I mean, this beer, the style guidelines are basically written around this beer and a couple others. Um, yeah, I I really like that one. I'm going to go high. I think I'm, I'm going to go like 18. What do you think? I'll do a 17 for the Lefe. 17? Yep. Moving on to the Noma Gang. Um, yeah, I, I liked it. Mm -hmm. Seemed a little over the top, a little stronger than it needs to be. I'm gonna penalize that a little, but I mean, otherwise, it's it's pretty much there for the stuff. I'm gonna go f fifteen, maybe fourteen. I'll, I'll say fifteen. I'll do a sixteen. Sixteen for no gang. Okay. Duval, um, didn't impress me much, but it didn't seem off as far as the specs go. But yeah, I'm gonna say fourteen on that one. I'll do a fifteen. Fifteen. And then last but not least, Michael Jackson's. Uh, very Americanized. It seemed a little inappropriate for the style, but I mean, it's tasty. But mm -hmm. So I'm going to go low on that one. I'm going to go 13. I'll do a 13 as well on 13. that one. Yep. Okay. It's not smooth and soft. <laughs> All right. We'll be right back with mouthfeel. All right. Mouthfeel, medium high to high carbonation can give mouthfeel and bubbly sensation, medium body, Light to moderate alcohol warmth, but smooth can be somewhat creamy. Interesting. Creamy. Um, I, I don't describe any... Well, I mean, maybe the Amagang is creamy. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, and they all had... I would definitely say medium body for all... Well, mm -hmm. actually, I should say the Lefe was medium, the Noma Gang was medium full, and then the Duval and the Michael Jacksons were both medium, medium light. light. But all of them, yeah, I would say medium high to high carbonation for all four. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, light to moderate alcohol warmth. Yeah, I don't. Get, I didn't. I wouldn't call any of them creamy. They're actually quite crisp. I don't know why they would say that. Um. Yeah. So as far as mouthfeel for all of these, well, I don't think they're all five. Um, I'll give the Lefe a five. What do you think? Lefe is a five. Okay. Noma Gang, I will go. It's either three or four. I mean, it's a little too thick for the style. Uh. Yeah. I'll do a four based on its. The right. medium high. All right, I'll give it a four too then. But otherwise, right there. Duval, again, a little low, a little light in body, but otherwise, right there. Four. Four. And Michael Jackson, I'll go four. Four. All right. Overall, um, I think I like the Lefe the best. Yes. I think it's closest to the style. Which is, you know, it's sad to say this company is owned by the same company that owns Budweiser, AB and Mev. So, um, but yeah, I mean, like, this this beer has been around for decades, and the style is basically written around this beer, so um, no reason it shouldn't score high, even if it is, you know, macro beer. Um, so overall, for the Lefe, um, I'm really impressed. I'm, I'm going to say nine. What do you think? You really liked it so far? <laughs> It's just I'm trying to think of what I like. Okay, so I've got it 37. I just don't know what I ranked everything. Um, that's the closest. I'll do a nine. Do a nine. Nine for the yeah. Lafe. All right, the Noma Gang. A bit Americanized, a little too big for the style, but still really good. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm gonna go eight. I'll do a nine for Noma Gang. Nine, nine. Uh, you got, you went pretty high on that one. <laughs> <laughs> the Duval, um. I thought it was a little light overall, but I mean, as far as the specs say, so I'm going to say seven on that one. 
Yeah, for the Duvel 666, mm -hmm. seven. Okay. You know, a little higher than me. And the Michael Jackson's, I, I, it's not really entirely to style. Um, so I'm going to go six on this one. Five, Five for 1,000 tiny Michael Jackson's, yes. Yeah. So, yeah. All right, so 36, 37, you know, so 36, 38 and a half. Yeah, so that's about 39 for the Duval. Average about 42 for the Noma Gang and 46 for the Lefe. So, yeah. Um, even though this is technically a Budweiser product, it's probably the best example of style. Although I will say, if you can get it, definitely try to find um, Noma Gang. Probably the best American version. And you get a full 16-ounce pint can. And it's a big 9.5 ABV. Mm -hmm. And I don't think you shouldn't have any problem finding the Duval. It's not, to me, it's not as good as original Duval. It's a nice kind of light alternative. And uh, shout out to beerdrop.com. That's where I got this beer. You can see all the kind of cool label. I mean, I had when I saw the name, I didn't even see the label when I was ordering. I just saw the name and I was like, I'm getting that. So, yeah. And also, thumbs up or, you know, little kudos because this brewery is out of New York. So, yeah. All right. So, we got lots of beer to drink tonight. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, let us know in the comments section. And we'll see you next Tuesday. All right. Cheers. Clunk. Bye. <laughs>